Anyone who goes to Greece will soon notice that the Greek people are visibly happy. Why would they grieve? As they are surrounded by countless natural wonders, antique buildings and amazing beaches. And the Greek food is simple but all the tastier and healthier thanks to the many high quality ingredients that the Mediterranean sunshine really brings to life. Fresh spices, juicy vegetables and fruits, freshly caught fish and high quality meats can be found in Greek cuisines, not to mention sensational cheeses and olive oils. Let's see the best 10 foods you have to try in Greece. Tzatziki Tzatziki, often written as Tzatziki, is a really cooling, light delicacy based on creamy Greek yogurt, cucumber and garlic. Yogurt is made from sheep's or goat's milk, it has a thick texture and is both sweet and sour with a very rich taste. The cucumber is usually grated, salted and then the juice is squeezed out of this. Thus, cucumber juice does not dilute the yogurt and tzatziki keeps the dense texture for which it is so popular. Of course, garlic can't be missing from the tzatziki either. They put plenty in it, also grated. Tzatziki is made with different spices in the different parts of Greece. There are areas where they put mint leaves in it, while elsewhere they use dill and extra virgin olive oil. It can be consumed in many ways. It can be a side character, as an accompaniment to other dishes, but it can also be a main character on the table. During pleasant gatherings with family or friends, tzatziki are often placed on the table with olives and pita bread. Dolmades Dolmades in Greece is consumed as an appetizer or a main course, depending on size and quantity, in the company of a small bowl of garlic yogurt. The word dolma comes from the Turkish language, means to be filled, referring to all kinds of stuffed food. These stuffed grape leaves are a bite or two in size, have a slightly sour taste and do not weigh down the stomach after consumption. The whole grape leaves are first dipped in hot water to make them easy to work with. Then put one or two tablespoons of stuffing on the leaves and roll them up tightly. They are placed next to each other in a baking dish and then baked in the oven using lemon juice. Dolmadas are usually stuffed with vegetable rice flavored with fresh spices. But you can often come across a meaty version that uses minced lamb or beef. Moreover, in some regions you can taste dolmadas filled with fish or offal. Meaty variations are usually eaten hot and vegetarian varieties are eaten cold which are especially good snacks amid the Aegean heat. Greek yogurt. You can't buy real Greek yogurt in supermarkets. You can only taste it in Greece. Now, I'm not going to talk about the dairy product you find on a store shelf called Greek yogurt. The real, full-fat Greek yogurt is made from sheep's milk and provides a dense, sweet, creamy, nutritious and truly original taste experience. Traditional Greek yogurt is made by the straining process to remove the whey from it so the result will be extremely thick and creamy. It is a very healthy food as it is high in protein but low in fat and its consumption has a beneficial effect on the digestive system. Regular consumption of real Greek yogurt helps to lower blood pressure and also reduces the risk of diabetes. In Greece, yogurt is on the menus as a separate dessert. You can try it plain but usually they are served authentically. Gently sprinkled with walnuts and good quality, usually local honey, is dipped on it. Sometimes it's garnished with a little fruit and you can already eat it. It can be addictive. Kleftiko Kleftiko is one of the most popular dishes made from lamb in Greece, but in some parts of the country it can also be made from rabbit or beef. The name of the food literally means hidden or stolen meat. According to legend, in the old, scarce times when hunger occurred in some parts of the country, people often stole goats or lambs. They then dug a pit in the ground, placed glowing embers in it, put the meat on it in a well-sealed clay pot and baked it so that the smoke would not reveal where they were. Nowadays, they are made in a furnace or oven wrapped in aluminium foil so that the result is really crumbly meat. Kleftiko requires about 4 to 5 hours to be cooked thoroughly, but this is exactly the meat you should wait for. This juicy meat that falls off the bone usually is served with potatoes, which are placed in the baking dish next to the meat at the beginning of the cooking. Thus, the potatoes will cook until perfection in the fat discharged from the meat. Spanakopita Spanakopita is a salty, stuffed pie made from a thin, crunchy, unleavened dough called phyllo dough or from puff pastry. 
The filling is usually spinach with lots of garlic and feta cheese. Feta cheese is often mixed with kefalotiri cheese to make the taste even more diverse. It can be prepared in a baking dish or it can be baked on a large baking sheet and later cut into smaller slices and served that way. But it also happens to be baked in small portions, folded into triangular shape and served with tzatziki or tomato salad. Spanakopita does not require much seasoning due to its strong taste of feta cheese. Sometimes a little parsley, dill or mint is added. Regional varieties can include chopped onions, eggs or a special version if chopped walnuts are also mixed into the filling, adding a little crunch. Moussaka Moussaka is a specially invigorating dish, of which there are several versions in the Mediterranean, but the most popular is undoubtedly the Greek version. It is based on eggplant, but is thinly sliced and often slightly pre-fried. This is followed by a thick layer of minced meat sauce, usually made from beef or lamb cooked with tomatoes. The whole thing is crowned by an even thicker, dense layer of bechamel sauce, and this is baked in the oven. Interestingly, although the food itself has long existed in Greece, until the early 1900s it consisted only of the lower two layers. It only gained its present form in the 1920s when bechamel sauce was first used for making moussaka. Nowadays, vegetarian moussaka is also very popular. In this case, minced meat is usually replaced with sliced potatoes and zucchini, which is thus the same nutritious dish as the traditional moussaka containing meat. Souvlaki Souvlaki is one of the best known Greek dishes. These are skewered meat cubes that are occasionally rotated and fried until crispy on all sides. Souvlaki should, of course, be eaten from the skewers while the meat is still hot and fresh. Cooking on skewers has a history of thousands of years in Greece. Archaeological excavations on the island of Santorini have found skewers used for frying meat dating from around the 16th to 17th centuries BC. Souvlaki is usually made from pork, but souvlaki made from chicken, lamb, beef or even fish are also common. It is traditionally served with a pita bread and consumed with tzatziki or Greek salad and often with fries. You can even eat souvlaki during a sightseeing walk. Variations are common when meat cubes, lettuce, vegetables and french fries are loaded into pita bread and the whole thing is poured with tzatziki. No, this is not the well-known gyros. This is souvlaki in pita. Fasolada Fasolada is a real national dish in Greece. This white bean soup is made with only a few ingredients, yet it tastes quite complex. It is rarely found in elegant restaurants. The fasolada is more typical of homemade Greek cuisine. There's no meat in it at all. Instead, it is based on small grain white beans and root vegetables. They are supplemented with a little tomato and lemon, which gives the soup a very rich flavor. What is special is that it is customary to add a whole apple to the soup and cook it with it. The pectin in the apple peel thickens the soup and the fructose sweetens it a little. The fasolada is also consumed as a standalone soup or as a single dish. It is accompanied by feta cheese, olives and, of course, the essential pita bread. Lukomades in Greece, they really like slightly sticky, syrupy, honey-based desserts, and lukomades are just that. It is mostly similar to donuts, but it is served a little differently and it will make the experience very unique and really Greek. Bake small balls of dough in hot oil for a few minutes and then dip it still hot in honey syrup. This is the traditional version. However, like almost everything else, there are plenty of variations of lukomades across the country. You can purchase a box of lukomades in plenty of small shops and then have a snack while walking in the city. We can try the original, honeyed version with a little lemon and cinnamon, but if we're a little bolder, we can also ask for lukomades poured with flavored sugar syrup. Chocolate, various fruity and pistachio toppings are also very popular. You can sprinkle them with chopped walnuts, almonds, sesame seeds, and in some places, you can even try filled lukomades. Kalamata olives. Olives are a popular dish worldwide. There are hundreds of varieties, each with a slightly different taste. Kalamata olives are a medium grained, dark purple, juicy olive variety derived from the Peloponnese Peninsula in Greece and named after the city of Kalamata. 
sometimes it is also used to make oil but the most common way to consume it is to eat it as table olives. Kalamata olives differ from green olives in that the greens are picked from the olive trees when they are not yet ripe. They are still very bitter at this time, so they are soaked in salt water for a few weeks to lose that bitter taste and thus become edible. Kalamata olives, on the other hand, are harvested in their ripe, dark purple state, typically from late autumn to January, by hand, so as not to be damaged. They are then usually preserved in a salt water bath and then in wine vinegar or olive oil. Consumption of Kalamata olives is very healthy, has a beneficial effect on the cardiovascular system and lowers cholesterol. Olive trees are typically long-lived, can live for hundreds and even thousands of years. Since the people who live there regularly consume olives, we can combine the two. The Mediterranean diet is the secret to a long life.